Hello everyone, hope you had a good week. We're back, it's Monday, and it's the Monday following the spring equinox. You know, and that just happened just a few days ago. So it's a new season, a new time. And uh, it's a new time to think about things, new opportunities. So today we're gonna look at something, uh, the question having to do with the definition and uh, the pronunciation of the word na'awau. Na'awau, yeah, the concept. What does that mean, I was asked, and or how do you pronounce it properly? Na'awau or na'awau, but na'awau. And it's a really neat word. Uh, I think as some of you may have heard me talk about before, our, our kupuna used the uh, alphabets, or the vowels, recognizing, at least Anti Pilahi's teaching, that uh, each letter, each sound has a spiritual meaning. And the spiritual roots in the word na'o'o are three fundamental spirit energies. The spirit of awe, which is the spirit of fire, heat, God energy. The spirit of U, the human energy. The human spirit, U. And of course, O, which is the foundational energy of earth, uh, a base or foundation. So when you look at the word Na'o'o, N A A U A O Na O O. The general concept of the word means uh, literally the daylight mind. You say, what does that mean, daylight mind? Well, a broader definition would explain daylight mind to be an enlightened mind, one that is educated, one that is. Um, intelligent, wise, the concept of expansion. So, na'o'o. But why is it na'o'o? That's what's important. That's what's really interesting. Yeah? How the word is really the word, the meaning, not just the mechanics. So let's look at the meaning. So you look at the word na'o'o, Embedded in the world, in the word, is several roots. Na, o, au. Yeah, three roots. Na, o, au. N a, a u, a o. And then there's two big ones. Na au, au. The word na au. And the word au. So if you start pulling those and unpackaging it and kind of ask what does this word mean? First, na. Na, many different meanings, but it's a simple concept of plural, more than. More than one. Na kupuna, na keiki, na, you know, na something, a plural. But in the plural, suggests more than. So na is also the concept of more than. Not just plural, but more than one, more than multiples. So na, it's also forward as in manna. Na, positive, forward, direction. energy, masculine, na. So it's an active, active word, na. Second word, o, a, u. So interesting, the two roots of a and u, a and u, fire, God, heat, energy, a, u, you, spiritual man, the spirit of man. So when we say, o, o, no, meka, ha, ha, o, myself, identity, 
And sometimes we hear, oh, wow, W-A-U, wow. Oh, wow, no me ka But it's basically saying me, the I. I am. I am little I, little M. Versus, oh, wow, no ka i, the big I, as in the I am, the I am as in divinity. So when you put the ah and the u together, you say, oh, me, but you're really saying me because I'm connected to divinity. You are the extension of, we are the extensions of divine spirit. We are spirit. Oh, yeah. And so last time we talked about uh, the Lord's Prayer yeah. and the Our Father. In this one we're talking about not our but us and in this case us is a connection between divinity and our spirit oh that's who I am when I'm connected okay so you have na oh na oh means more than one you more than one connection well how can that be there's only one of you Oh, but there's more parts of our identity, as we know in Ho'oponopono. The au makua. Again, there's the au, au makua. Unihipili and uhane. Three minds become one mind, become au, become you. So that's one way of aligning it. But even in the word au makua, the unification of God and man, ma inside kua, bind, spine. That holds you up. Stand. Aumakua. God. So you have those two. Na au. More than one. But then you put the two together and it's na au. What is na au? Na au is our intestines, our gut. And so our kupuna would say, eh, don't be deceived by the conscious mind. Always pay attention to na au your gut, the intuitive, you know, the concept that, you know, you know, little voice was telling me something in my gut told me, you know, the gut sense. No. So our kupuna understood, our ancestors knew, and connected to this thing, saying that the mind is a deceiver, it rationalizes, or the na'o tells you truth. The gut, yeah, na'o. Then the last word, ao, A-O. Oh, so you have a, ah, fire, heat, o, earth, foundation, but also that part in the word po, of darkness. From po, darkness, to ao, light. So the word A-O is ao, light, enlightenment, daylight, sun, day. Yeah. So thus, na ao, ao is the enlightened mind, because in this case, na'au, the gut, is the mind. It's where we get our information from. Na'au is the enlightened intestine, our gut. That's how we come about that. But what's really interesting is that contemporary science is telling us that the mind and the gut are connected gut health that the brain can cause the gut to do things and the other way around now well, the enlightened the brain we are what we eat what goes in our guts what we consume affects the way we think and the way we behave yeah and if you really think about it if you look at the na'o, the guts, the intestines, they look like the brain with all of this tissue going, 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 going. And in the brain, you get all these little macaronis, you know, going, going, going. So, na'o, the enlightened mind or brain, the intelligent, the concept. So, a lot of stuff and with our 
turning into the new season, more sun, we're heading back towards the dry season, heading back towards summer, heading back to light, coming from dark, from Po to Ao. So this is a good one. It allows us to make that connection. Yeah. So again, the word Na'awau, about enlightenment, education, and awareness. All right, you guys have a good week and keep sending those questions. And we'll keep working on digging deeper. Till the next time. Aloha, ahoyo, e ma lamapono.